In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a common problem with the Sonus Roam speaker, the blinking green light. You might have seen this light when setting up your speaker for the first time, or perhaps it appeared unexpectedly. No need to worry, I'm here to help you understand what it means and how to solve it. Stay tuned as I guide you through the steps to get your Sonus Roam connected and back to playing your favorite tunes without any hassle. Let's dive in! The green flashing light on your Sonos Roam is a key signal, especially when you first interact with your speaker. When you power on your Sonos Roam for the first time, it's totally normal to see a green light flashing. This means your Sonos Roam is in setup mode, waiting for you to connect it to your network using the Sonos app. Once you finish setting it up, the light will turn solid white, showing that your speaker is all set and ready to go. If you notice the green light keeps flashing after you've set it up, or if it starts flashing again later, this could mean a few different things. For instance, if the speaker has been reset to its original factory settings by mistake, you'll need to set it up once more. If you're trying to set up your speaker and the green light is flashing but you can't find the speaker in the app, it's time to do some troubleshooting. This might mean checking if your speaker is properly connected, making sure your phone and Wi-Fi are working right and ensuring your Sonos app is the latest version. Remember, there's a difference between a flashing green light and a solid green light on your speaker. A solid green light means your speaker is on mute. To get rid of the green light, you can just adjust the volume or press the volume up button which tells you the mute is turned off. Are you still seeing that flashing green light on your Sonos Roam? No worries, we've got you covered with some simple fixes. Let's dive into how you can get rid of that pesky green light and get back to enjoying your music. First up, if your Sonos Roam is flashing green, it's ready to connect. Here's how to set it up. Download the Sonos S2 app on your smartphone from the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. Open the app, sign up or log in, and tap the settings gear icon. The app should find your Sonos Roam. Just tap Add Sonos Roam, or go to System, Add Product if it doesn't. You might need to give the app location access to connect your speaker, so make sure to allow it. Follow the app's instructions to connect your Sonos Roam to Wi-Fi and set it up in your desired room. A simple restart can often fix minor glitches. Unplug your Sonos Roam, wait a bit, and plug it back in. If the green light's still flashing, try turning the speaker off using the power button, wait a moment, and then turn it back on. If restarting didn't work, a full reset might be needed. Turn off your Sonos Roam. Press and hold the play pause button, then briefly press the power button until an orange light flashes, indicating the speaker is resetting. Wait for the reset to complete. The speaker will show a green flashing light when it's ready to set up again. Just follow the setup steps in the Sonos app. Sometimes the issue could be with your phone or the app. Make sure your phone and the Sonos app are up to date. After resetting the speaker, try setting it up with a different smartphone to see if the issue persists. If the setup works with another phone, the problem might be with your original phone or the app. Try reinstalling the Sonos app or resetting your phone's network settings. Wi-Fi could also be the culprit start by rebooting your router. Turn it off, wait a minute, and turn it back on. If that doesn't work, consider resetting your router. Keep in mind that this will erase your Wi-Fi settings, so you'll need to set them up again. That's it for this video. You now have all the tips and tricks needed to tackle the flashing green light on your Sonos Roam. Whether it was setting up for the first time, reconnecting, or troubleshooting, we've covered it all. I'm thrilled to have shared this guide with you and sincerely hope it helps resolve any issues you've been facing. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more tech solutions. Got any questions or additional tips? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.